or want to lose weight at home? Here's a no equipment needed beginner friendly workout that you can do right in your living room. Today, we're going to take you through a series of exercises that are not only easy to perform, but also effective for burning calories and toning your muscles. The beauty of home workouts is that they offer flexibility. Whether you're a busy professional, a stay-at-home parent, or simply someone who prefers the comfort of their own space, these exercises are tailored for you. What's more, they require no fancy gym equipment. All you need is a little bit of floor space and a can-do attitude. But before we jump in, let's warm up. How about some simple arm circles? Extend your arms out to your sides and start making small circles, gradually increasing their size. Next, let's do some leg swings. Stand tall and swing one leg forward and back, then switch. Now that we're warmed up, it's time to dive into the main exercises. Let's start with the first two exercises, squats and push-ups. Squats are a fundamental exercise that targets your quadriceps, hamstrings and glutes. To perform a squat, begin by standing tall with your feet hip width apart. Pretend there's an invisible chair behind you and sit back into it. Keep your chest up and your gaze forward, not down. It's important to ensure your knees don't go past your toes as you lower yourself. Once your thighs are parallel to the ground, push through your heels to stand back up. That's one squat. Now, if you're a beginner or have knee issues, you can modify this exercise. Instead of going all the way down, just lower yourself as far as comfortable while maintaining good form. You can also use a real chair for support if needed. Remember, the goal is to engage those lower body muscles, not to push through pain. Now, let's transition to push-ups. A classic upper body exercise, push-ups primarily work your chest, shoulders, and triceps. Start in a high plank position. Hands planted firmly on the ground, shoulder width apart. Lower your body until your chest almost grazes the floor. Keep your back flat and your body in a straight line throughout the movement. Then push your body back up, that's a push-up. If you're a beginner, don't worry. Push-ups can be modified too. Simply drop to your knees and perform the same movement. You're still using the same muscles, just with less weight. Alternatively, you can do wall push-ups, standing a few feet away from a wall and pushing yourself off it using your arms. Remember, with both squats and push-ups, it's not about speed. It's about control and maintaining good form. Strive for quality, not quantity. And don't forget to breathe. Exhale on the effort. That's when you stand up from a squat or push-up from the floor. Great work with those squats and push-ups. Feel the burn. That means you're doing it right. And remember, consistency is key. Keep practicing and you'll see progress in no time. Ready for more? Let's move on to the next two exercises, lunges and planks. Lunges are a fantastic way to target multiple muscle groups at once. To execute a lunge with the correct form, start by standing tall with your feet hip width apart. Step forward with one foot, lowering your body until the front knee is at a 90 degree angle. Be mindful of your alignment. The knee should be directly above the ankle and the back knee should hover just off the ground. Now, let's transition to planks, an exceptional exercise for core strengthening. Begin by placing your hands directly under your shoulders, much like a push-up position. The key here is maintaining a straight body line from your head to your heels. Imagine a straight rod running along your spine. That's the alignment to aim for. You're doing fantastic. Remember, consistency is key. After any good workout, it's essential to cool down. Let's go through a quick routine. Start by slowly lowering your heart rate with some deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Now, let's move on to some toe touches. Stand tall, then bend at the waist, reaching for your toes. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings and lower back. Next, let's engage in some gentle twists. Stand with your feet hip width apart and rotate your torso from side to side. Cooling down is not just a way to bring your heart rate back to normal. It's also a vital part of muscle recovery. It helps to reduce muscle stiffness and soreness after a workout. Don't rush this part. Your body deserves this time to recover and prepare for the next workout. That's it for today's workout. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Keep up the good work and see the changes for yourself.